Break Free Blog Blog. This is Zach Sloan. That's Aunt Luna. Today, my friends, we're going to be talking about something that has probably literally saved me as a musician still being able to play. I'd say yeah. me as well. Yeah. I think we've both been through some scary times where physically we were unable to um, handle our instruments in a way that we wanted to. That's right. Um, as an upright bass player, it's a physically demanding instrument, and um, there have been times when I felt like the strength and dexterity, especially in my left hand, was just uh, leaving my body, and I couldn't um, play with the tone or the facility that I wanted to and thought I was going to have to stop playing. And I had times where the pain in my hands was so great that I couldn't grab my guitar. And even when I took ibuprofen to numb the pain, I didn't have the strength to play with the accuracy that I wanted. So how do we fix that, Anne? We fix that by listening to our bodies and our good friends who gave us good advice. So basically through stretching, yeah. <laughs> in, in a nutshell. Um, Not basically for me, like through stretching, yeah, that's how through, I did it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really the short answer. Um, but there are some specific stretches that I still do that still save me every time and that we will be sharing with you today and that I share with all of my students. Yeah. But as a lawyer, I feel the need, former lawyer, currently can't, whatever, we're not doctors. No. Consult a, consult a doctor or a physical therapist. I, pref I actually have never seen a doctor about this in a way that was helpful. Uh, physical therapists have been the way f to go for me. but. Like Ann said, follow your body, and if you need to consult with a physical therapist, please do so. They're wonderful. They know what they're doing. They're wonderful. You know, um, you can certainly ask experts. They're going to be able to tell you more in depth than we are. But yeah, um, for me, massage therapists, chiropractors, um, and just <laughs> mindful people, and and listening to my own body and finding what works for me. So, um, anything we show, of course. So guideline, you don't want to be feeling like pain, <laughs> you no. know, in, in a, there's that, the good, like, stretch, happy pain, eh, anyway, <laughs> you know what I mean. It's, yeah, I, it's not pain, it's like you can feel, it's, it's just you can the, feel something going it's on. It's release, yeah. I think, more so, it's, um, yeah, so something to definitely that. listen to your own body on any of this, and... All of us are going to be more flexible um, than others, and so what what either of us show you, you know, don't think that just because when you're doing it at home it doesn't look exactly like that, that you're doing it wrong. If you're feeling something and it feels good and your body's releasing, you're doing it right. Yeah. So, um, start off with some forearm stretches. So, for me, if I have a wall, and I'll show you momentarily, we'll you can do that, but a lot of times I don't, or I'm playing and I need to stretch. And so I can lean my base against me and I take an arm in front and just gently pull my fingers back and I'm feeling a stretch all along. Which is really Here. helpful because when I was having pain in my hand, it was because that I was having tightness in my forearm and in the tendons and ligaments around my elbow. So that's really helpful to open yeah. up your forearm like that. So that's useful. You can also do it against a wall. Um, and you can do it this way, and you can play with the angle of your hand. <laughs> you can do your jazz hands. <laughs> and the key with all of these two, <laughs> key with all of these two is to go slow and to have deep breathing, because that's really going to let you feel your muscles and where your tendons, your ligaments are stretching, help them to be able to release a little bit more. So to balance out that one, we do just the opposite. If you're against a wall, you can go this way, or against the back of your instrument, or just having your other hand as a backstop here. Yeah. And from there, that alone, you're going to feel a nice stretch there. If you want to intensify that, you try to make a fist very slowly. <laughs> slowly. There. And I can't do it, honestly. It would hurt me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And there's, there's days that I feel more flexible than others that it's easier. But if I'm against a wall, I, yeah, I can't really make a fist. Yeah. And for me, I, I've even taken those a little further. I, one thing I'll do is find a table and I'll put my hands down flat like this, which is a good stretch on its own. Right. 
And then from here, I'll bend my elbows just a little bit, and that really opens up the forearm. Yeah. If you go too far, you're going to hurt yourself, so be careful with that. Start with, it, yeah, kind of probably slower warm-ups, and then work up to yeah. that. And then I, my favorite one I do now is I flip, like Ian was doing on the wall, I do the and same there. thing on a table, hold that, and I can really feel that at the top of my hands. And there are variations from there, but this is a good place to start. There are. So if you want to look at some kind of fascia release too, and that a massage therapist is showing me, is you're laying your arm down, and then you work all along this muscle, and yeah. you're gonna be pressing firmly down, then reaching out, incline, do it up, down, and you keep working along that muscle to further release that. Ah. <laughs> it looks like, it looks like you, you could be comfortable, in the, uncomfortable in the best way. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the, ah, uh, mm, yeah. So again, finding your own balance with that. So I do that for, for forearms. For my hands and my fingers themselves, I'll come a little closer here. <laughs> so I will make a tiger paw here. And I'm bending my fingers backwards as much as they'll naturally go. You can see my pinky goes quite a bit. Eh, other fingers don't. They're pretty straight, even though I'm trying to bend back. Um, so from there, I'm taking thumb of the opposite hand, gently pushing down on the whole nail bed and bringing my fingers down. And so I'm stretching all of these little beating muscles in our fingers. And I do that on both hands. And then I go back to the original hand and do it twice because you get a little further. Um, so that's what I do for fingers. And even just, yeah, hand massage things, dexterity things help out a lot. For the thumb, I take one hand in with the other and just gently rotate this part here and as well as massaging that muscle. That's a good one. And if I need to work on my thumbs, I do this one. Go slow with this so you don't hurt yourself. Make fists with your thumb in it. Never throw a punch this way, you'll break your thumb. <laughs> um, slowly rock forward very slowly really opens up all of this oh yeah and then do wrist circles both directions about 30 seconds each way is what I do um, but yeah yeah so that's basic hand and arm care definitely for me um, I also um, try to open up my chest and my back because I'll get hunched over or asymmetrical it's just it's really easy to be asymmetrical in your plane. So the more balance you can physically bring to your body, it's great. Um, so I'll open up my chest doing good old cactus arms here. And so I'm bringing my shoulder blades together. And so I like to get my breath involved too. And so I'll exhale and inhale. And go in at whatever pace is feeling good. So I'll do a few of those to kind of warm up. Um, to really open up my, my back, so we do kind of a modified eagle. So you have one arm in front, other one comes up under. If you're here, that's fine. If you've got a little bit more and can clasp your hands, doesn't really matter. You're already gonna feel a stretch in your back. Then from here, if you inhale, lift your elbows up. That's great. If you wanna take a little further, you exhale and roll down. I'm not doing that. <laughs> and you can hang there for a couple breaths and then gently inhale and come back up, then do the other side. And one of my favorites that a friend showed me, um, who uh, is a professional dancer, <laughs> knows her stuff. Um, <laughs> she does this, um, you wring out your shoulders and your arms. And so, yeah, you imagine kind of like you're this massive dish towel <laughs> that you're wringing out. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what works for me. So between those, that's really saved my plane. There's other things I do too, but especially for um, upper body, those are my favorite stretches. I hope yeah. they help you out too. Yeah, and special shout out to my physical therapist, Liz at uh, Physical Therapy and Lifetime Fitness. You saved me, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Thank you. <sighs> There's no point to this. Annie, this is my dog, Annie. Annie also does stretches. She, Up dog, down dog. It's actually gets doggy massages. We, we do Look stretch at this her. fine specimen. She stretches all the time. Please don't tell my wife I put my dog on her island. We, we cook here. We'll, we'll wash this. No, we won't. <laughs>
Come on, Eddie. Ready? I'll be down. 